All right, everybody, we do have this game set up for you all. We're going to be seeing Sunset for game one with an Alice ban from two and a half Canadians and a Kaiser ban from Bruh. Seeing team compositions actually very different this time around. Uh, Ravi, Peter, and Rapunzel being played on the side of two and a half Canadians with Ravi, Peter, and Cindy being played on the side of Bruh. So I guess not very different compositions. Actually, I was reading it slightly wrong. We do see Peter and Ravi on both sides those AOE ultimates a huge impact we'll have to see the difference though between Cindy and Rapunzel Rapunzel definitely a hard matchup for Cindy well known uh, that it is a pretty difficult matchup for Cindy not impossible whatsoever but it is one of the harder matchups that she has in the very few difficult matchups that she does Looks like our players are all ready to go. So let's go ahead and get straight on into game one of this set here. <clears throat> once everybody re-readies because I once again forgot to change the map for them. Okay, so Mel and Lord finally readying up here. We will be able to get straight on in to the next game here. Game one of our final set before the turn before the uh, break here, and the first Discord Nitro giveaway. Stay tuned for that, guys. But first, let's get right on into this action and see who comes out on top and who will be eliminated from this tournament. Let's go ahead and see what will happen in game one. see the opening exchanges here in the first game of this best of five set between bruh and two and a half canadians both teams putting on a show for us here tonight uh bruh unfortunately being brought into the loser side of the bracket early but we'll have to see what they're able to do here as adaptation opening exchanges though we're seeing bruh get taken very low actually both teams at about half hp each a very even match to start out melnor getting put very low brown's getting low but the first objective take going the way of Bra Melon Lord being found by Noodles there. A, a Peter ultimate coming out of Sky OG and immediately being able to take out uh, Onage there. Shortly afterwards, Melon Lord taking a little bit of damage. Bakery looking for an opportunity with this Ravi ultimate. Does find it, gets good damage. Brown still able to cling to life. But Sky not able to make it back into the objective in time. The point will fall to Bruh, but two and a half days getting the first physical point. Let's see here, Melon Lord with a nice Peter ultimate, getting some damage, but getting caught off by the Ravi ultimate of Browns. Noodles now looking for as much damage as possible before he loses this stock. Finds a good double stun into his ultimate, catches damage onto Melon Lord, and I believe Bakery ate some of that too. Uh, but Melon Lord able to find two kills there with his ultimate, not able to find the timing for the reset. Onage as well, not able to. All three members sitting with very low health. Bakery though, finding an amazing Ravi ultimate, huge damage from him. Brown's finding a kill onto Melon Lord, looking for the follow-up onto Onish here is Noodles. Brown's finding it finally and getting the kill is Bakery taking out Browns and Noodles able to take game one for Bro. Looks like Browns may have had a disconnect. We'll have to see if that happened early enough into the match. Not entirely sure what happened there. Not seeming to have anything, any questioning of it though, so we will be proceeding. Uh, doesn't appear to have had any actual issues there. Alright, it does appear like everybody is ready to go, so we'll be hopping straight back into game two here. See if they're going to be able to make the adaptations that they need, two and a half Canadians, to be able to find a victory here over Bra, or if Bra will be able to apply enough pressure to walk away with this match. Let's go ahead and find out right here in game two. So opening exchanges, Onage getting good pressure into the far side of the map, into his opponent's uh, spawn area, basically. Their, their side of the Dominion point, as it is much akin to his early game against VBB. Melon Lord getting dropped by Noodles and Sky OG able to push 
Bakery and Ownage out of the objective. Getting the first claim for his team. Noodles and Sky, though, getting pushed out almost immediately. But a last pixel clutch by Browns to be able to hold on to that. Does look like the point will finally flip the way of Bruh. Bakery, though, extremely low with that ultimate ready, though. He may look for some damage. Maybe not, though. Gets taken out there by Browns. Able to find the claim for his team. One point for two and a half Canadians. Will they be able to make it a second? It looks like they may. Melon Lord and Onage both dead for the time being. Bakery, though, back with an ultimate ready. Will, will we see the Robbies trading ultimates? We do. A good trade of ultimates there. But unfortunately, not enough to keep control of the objective. Noodles getting there just a moment too late, unfortunately. Sky OG looking for an opportunity onto Onage. And actually finding a kill onto Bakery a little bit later. Noodles now with an ult ready to go. Sky OG as well. Opting to trade with the Peter ultimate and reclaiming the objective for his team. Onage with a delayed roll. Dodging Sky OG's uh, ground skill there. A trade coming out with Bakery. Maybe a double Ravi ultimate here. <clears throat> They do find damage onto Browns and a kill onto Sky OG. Browns, though, answering back with a Ravi ultimate, reminding them he's still there. Catches all three of them with his rare ability. And Noodle's able to find some more damage to follow that up. Sky OG getting a good kill there. And able to push Onage off the objective just long enough to claim it for his team and take the victory. 1-1 one, one in the set going into game three here. We're all tied up. All right, it looks like the teams are ready to just jump right back in for game three. Let's go ahead and get right back into it then. All right, game three here in this best of five set between Bruh and two and a half Canadians. The Ravi plays have just been insane and the most impactful things, honestly, so far this set. Alright, the opening looking like Bruh taking quite a lot of damage. Bakery and Melbourne both dropping very low. Onage taking a big hit there as well. Sky OG finding huge damage. And a double kill practically all by himself that whole time. Finding the third as well onto Onage. A huge play coming out of Sky OG. Very well played to him. Impressive to say the least. Maybe he'll find that potion. Finally he does. Getting a good ultimate here as well, and just barely curving, maybe flexible blade. I'm not entirely sure if he runs that alongside the rare, but was able to stay on the objective just long enough. Browns with a good ultimate onto Bakery. Bakery getting caught by the back end of Sky OG's ultimate. Melon Lord getting caught out of his ultimate by Noodles. Noodles finding good damage onto uh, Onage there, but Bakery and Melon Lord now there to help assist him. Noodles getting pushed off the objective all the way to the side. Sky OG now getting worked on the objective. Bakery pretty low again. We do see two Raviolts ready though. One Raviolt coming out, getting two kills. One on the Bakery, one onto Onage. Sky uh, assisted by Browns there. Finding three, one was a reset, but still counts. Sky OG really just showing up this match, putting in a lot of work for his team, and able to hold the objective just a little bit longer, but not able to get the third point for his team. Brown's going to have to put in a lot of work here alongside Noodles. Good damage from Noodles with that ultimate, and Sky OG once again pushing everybody off the objective. Onage getting caught by that ultimate, dragged all the way out. Bakery now going to be looking for an opportunity with this ultimate. Doesn't need it. Gets the counter onto Browns. And this is looking a little bit dire for two and a half Canadians. Sky OG dying now. A little bit late though. We'll have to see. Will Browns and Noodles be able to hold on to this objective? No, the bomb comes out and gets Noodles far enough off the point that they are not able to take the victory there. 2-1 the favor of Bra in this set right now. We'll have to see again. Will two and a half Canadians be able to adapt? Or will Bra follow up on this momentum that they just gained and be able to take a victory here? Okay, it does look like they're ready to get into game four here. Let's go ahead and start up this match and we'll see again if two and a half Canadians are able to adapt and overcome or if Bra will just ride this momentum into a game for victory. All right.
right. Onage not getting that forward position that he's been liking uh, as much, but opting for a little bit of a back position to assist his teammates. Melon Lord, though, getting dropped extremely low, dying extremely early. We'll have to see what this makes for two and a half Canadians. A team combo onto Onage, getting good damage, but gave him the Cindy ultimate. Very unfortunate. Bakery getting dropped. Melon Lord getting comboed now by Noodles, but gets out of it with the ultimate. Sky OG able to find a push onto Onage, but not able to claim the objective. Unfortunately, not as much impact as he was hoping for there. Browns maybe looking for an ult onto Bakery. A good opportunity there. Uh, Noodles finding a kill onto Melon Lord. Now they just need to get Onage out of the objective. If they can manage to do that, they may be able to claim. But Browns pulling him back to the objective, unfortunately, going to be uh, preventing the claim there. An ultimate coming out from Onage is Cindy. <clears throat> and Sky OG getting dropped by that air scope. Noodles now getting pressured very hard, finally dropping to Melon Lord. Browns looking for opportunities here. Sky OG taking a little bit of damage. Another ultimate coming out of Browns. Bakery getting pushed off the objective. Melon Lord dead. Ownage dead. Bakery dead. Everybody dying there. Two and a half Canadians finally get some time on this objective. We'll have to see if they're able to get some points here or if it'll just get put straight back into Bra's hands. Browns trying to find an opportunity here. Gets some good damage onto Bakery, but may end up dropping here. Gets caught in the aftermath. That freeze frame doing a lot of work for Bra in that moment. Onage stealing that bomb right from underneath Noodles. Melon Lord narrowly avoiding that Peter ultimate. Onage getting dropped extremely low by the Rapunzel ult. Browns finding the kill. Bakery holding his ultimate as well. Maybe gonna end up using it. Does not yet. 300 HP and now dies to Noodles. Noodles finding some opportunities onto Ownage, but Melon Lord able to stop it from really mattering too much. A claim coming back from Bruh. 2.5 Canadians in a bad position now. They need to get control of this objective, and Sky OG is going extremely low already. Noodles with a good bomb and a push onto two members of Bruh. But now we have Bakery with an ultimate just ready to go. Noodles able to stay in a perfect position. And Browns with a triple Ravi ultimate. Will they find the kill onto Bakery? They need to. They do and they get the claim finally. What a great play from Browns there. We'll have to see if his team is able to capitalize off of that. Melon Lord unfortunately whiffing that Peter ultimate. Not sure what happened there. Sky OG also whiffing his though. Both Peters kind of flailing around a little bit there. Third point for two and a half Canadians. Looking to take this into their overtime. Bakery losing his ultimate there. Melon Lord going extremely low. If they can get the kill onto Onage here, it could be game over for him. No, Onage able to stay just barely alive here. Browns <clears throat> and Noodles putting in work. Melon Lord very low HP does end up dying. And we go 2 2 in the set, all tied up for a game five finish here. We'll have to see if there's any changes being made by Bruh this time around. Uh, obviously, two and a half Canadians not with the priority anymore as they did win their previous match, but Bruh seems to want to go straight back into it. Onage opting to switch the map to late night, not wanting to play Sunset any longer. We'll have to see if this will be enough of a change here. Obviously, Late Night having a slightly smaller objective than Sunset, allowing for the Cindy Ultimates to be a little bit more impactful. Looks like everybody is readied up, so we'll go ahead and get straight on into Game 5 here. Reminder, this is the final game of this set. It will decide who is eliminated and who will move on to face off against Scams in the Losers Final. Game five of a best of five set. Always a great thing to see. High intensity. Both teams fighting for their life now. This match decides it all. Browns winning the bomb over Onage. Melon Lord getting put very low by it. Bakery getting worked a little bit in the middle of the point and very healthy is two and a half Canadians at this point. Uh, Noodles finding a great double stun and they will find the kill on the Onage, giving them the first objective claim. A big change from the previous matches. Sky OG going deep for damage actually finds a lot of it. 
and gets caught by Onage's ultimate, but does a lot of damage in the meantime. Noodles able to maintain some time in the point, gets a good ultimate there. His team not able to get there fast enough, though, but Brown's maybe going to look for an ultimate opportunity here. He does, finds the kill onto Onage and Bakery. Bakery previously ulting, finding a huge damage onto Sky OG and Noodles. A good Peter ult coming out of Melon Lord. Sky OG unfortunately not able to connect. Onage will pick up the kill there though. Rapunzel ult is in play. We'll have to see what he manages to do with this, if anything, at the moment. Bakery with an ultimate ready as well. A bomb coming out of him. Doing a lot of damage. Noodles tried to counter that ult. Does find damage afterwards. And Browns with two connections on his ultimate as well. The team, two and a half Canadians, though, both all very low HP. Noodles getting pushed off the objective. If they're able to control him here, it could be game over. It is not. Browns able to find the kill onto Onage. Bakery finding more damage into Browns and Sky Melon Lord with a great ultimate though and Sky OG as well finding some damage but dying ultimately to Bakery but Browns holding it out just long enough for Noodles to get back what an intense end game here so far Melon Lord able to push two off the objective but that Peter Rare catching him Onage finally dropping Browns being able to push them out of the objective and the claim goes back to two and a half Canadians in control of the objective once again Bakery with a great ultimate there. Tons of damage onto all three and a kill onto Noodles. Brown's looking for an opportunity. Gets the kill onto Bakery. Melon Lord now with his ultimate ready to go. But Noodles also has his. Ends up ripping it. Just gets the damage that he can. Finds a push onto Onage. Able to keep control of this objective. Brown's just barely making it in time. Sky OG as well. Bakery finding the ultimate. Will they be able to hold this objective? It looks like they may. Noodles needs to stay on long enough for Sky OG to get back. He's not able to, but Browns may be looking for an opportunity with his ultimate. He does, but Onage finds a double kill. Four players dropping immediately there. Sky OG trying to find this final opportunity and does not. Bra able to take the set. 3-2 over 2.5 Canadians. Both teams playing extremely well here. Very close matches. Always a pleasure to see great gameplay all around. Bruh moving on to face off against Scams in the Losers Final. Of course, VBB and Vehala waiting for their match in Winners Final shortly after that. But first, we will be going into our first break, which